Hey Aries, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot and welcome to your tarot reading. I have kittens for you today and um, what do these kittens have to do with you? They're both Aries and so maybe you can help me name them. <laughs> they're brand new. They're brand new. I'm very curious. This is a boy and this is a girl. Um, and um, yeah, so I'm open to names. Send them in the comment area. I could certainly use your help. And um, I'm so excited to spend my my life with these guys, my little Aries. Okay, so I'm going to actually get these guys out of here and in their little playpen so that they don't chew on the wires holding the camera. <laughs> and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, let's get right into it. We're going to ask the cards, what do Aries need to know? What do they need to know? What's coming up? Um, if you'd like for me to send you my prayers, my good intentions, say hi in the comments section so I can see you. And I encourage everybody else to do the same. Pray for each other if you'd like. Um, I seal this area with my word and my good intention that it's a positive place and open to everyone. We have the hermit. This could be an earth sign in your midst, but it could also be just in a quiet place, a contemplative place. You might be considering very seriously what you put into something. This could be into a relationship. This could be into your work. But you're at this juncture where you want you want to know, is it paying off? Is the way I'm doing this um, effective? And if it's not, do I need to change that? Do I need to change my approach? Or do I need to change direction? So it makes sense that you're being called to take that, to go towards the energy of the hermit. And like I said, because all of you are going through different things, for a few of you, this is going towards an actual earth sign, like a Virgo, because it's ruled by Virgo. But for the most part, it's about introspection. So tell me more for my Aries. Okay. So there might be some, um, let, me, let me take a look at these. We've got the, the Knight of Swords in reverse, and we have the Empress which is very interesting energy right here. There's a rush to, to gain abundance. So the important thing about the Empress, which is a really positive card talking about growth, but it's also in that delicate area where that growth is so small, like a seedling. And um, to rush it would be to overwater it, or it would be to... Um, burn it out with too much sunshine. So this is calling you to be aware of the imbalanced energy of the Knight of Swords when it's in reverse. Now this could be your energy or it could be an energy around you. It's conflicting with the Hermit energy. So there are two different energies here. But I think that's one of the reasons why this Hermit energy is making you take a step back and observe because there's definitely the observation that if this delicate seedling that has the potential to grow so huge, whether it's a business idea, whether it's a relationship, it has the potential to grow into something so abundant with the Empress here that it's very, it's um, a delicate balance and one doesn't want to, um, you know, kill it off with rigid opinions um, or kill it off with, um, recklessness and um, early action and, and rushing it basically. Okay. So what is our advice for our Aries? Let's ask Tarot, what's our advice for our Aries? And I'll stop and say right here, if you're finding value in this reading so far, I encourage you to hit the like button, show YouTube that you like it. Thank you. Um, advice for our Aries in regards to this tarot reading. Please make it clear. All right, we have three out, two of swords. So there might be a difficult choice in all of this. You might be feeling a little bit of mental conflict, which again is perfect to encourage the hermit the introspection in, and Page of Wands, all right? This is Keep an Open Mind and King of Swords. So, and that is um, that is raw reality truth, okay? And it's, and it's 
rawest form, it's radical honesty. So in order for this thing to succeed, and in order for this choice to eventually be made, I think that whether it's an air sign, you know, a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini, who is a big communicator, um, that you need to be aware of, like if they're talking to you, be open-minded to what they're saying. With the Page of Wands, that's about open-mindedness. It's gonna help you make this decision going forward. In the case that it's not in fact a person, but it's just embodying this, this energy, it's going to look like this. You come out of that introspective, quiet place of the hermit, and you are ready to communicate. You are ready to make decisions. You're ready for strategy based on the research and information you have. It's very much up here in the cognitive space, and you're being called to embrace that, whether it's somebody else or it's you yourself but it's all revolving around fresh perspective, keeping an open mind. And there's fun to be had here. It's playful, you guys. So I'm wishing you all the luck in the world. I adore you. And help me with my kitty names. <laughs> Bye.